Imagine a future where the knowledge of everyday items like a toaster has faded into obscurity, much like relics in a fantasy world. In this distant era, people stumble upon relics of our time, storing them in museums without understanding their function. Similarly, our museums house artifacts from various epochs that baffle us. Some of these artifacts, termed anomalous by scientists, seem technologically advanced for their time, raising questions about their origins and creators. Who first conceived the precursor to modern gambling devices? Who pioneered ancient computing? Can we decipher the intended use of these ancient technologies? The artifact known as the Lycurgus Cup suggests that the ancient Romans may have used nanotechnology, predating modern discoveries by wedding 600 years. This remarkable cup changes color depending on the direction of the light, appearing green when illuminated from the front and blood red when illuminated from behind. Researchers puzzled over this phenomenon for centuries until 1990, when English scientists examined the cup under a microscope. They found that the Romans had ground particles of silver and gold as small as 50 nanometers in diameter and then embedded them in the glass. When light passed through the glass, electrons in these particles vibrated in a way that changed the color. Some speculate that the Romans may have used this technology to identify the most honest subjects among them. For example, the king could display the goblet, which would turn red when viewed from his side, indicating truthfulness, while remaining green when viewed by dishonest observers. This suggests a sophisticated understanding of physics among ancient civilizations. Similarly, the discovery of lenses in ancient Assyria, such as the Nimrud lens found in modern-day Iraq, suggests early knowledge of astronomy. Italian scientist Giovanni Pettinato proposed that such lenses were part of ancient Assyrian telescopes, providing insight into celestial bodies such as Saturn. This is consistent with the remarkable calculations of the Indian astronomer Bhaskara Acharya in the 10th century ad, in which he determined the Earth's orbit around the Sun with impressive accuracy. These examples illustrate the possibility of advanced scientific understanding in ancient times and challenge conventional notions of their technological capabilities. However, the theory proposing the use of telescopes by ancient civilizations is largely rejected by most experts. Their main argument is that there is no mention of such devices in the numerous surviving astronomical works from antiquity. Personally, I agree with this view. I believe that the ancients, driven by their extensive observations, studies, and records of celestial phenomena, were probably trying to invent something quite different. They may have been looking for a tool similar to a computer to help them in their endeavors. This is not entirely far-fetched, considering that computers in some form existed long before our modern era. One notable example is the Antikythera Mechanism, a complex mechanical device discovered in 1901 near the island of Antikythera. Dating back to the 2nd century BC, it was recovered from a sunken ancient Greek ship after being submerged underwater and covered in marine sediment for many years. Despite missing parts, researchers have identified at least 30 bronze gears within the mechanism. A rectangular wooden case housed bronze panels on both the front and back, with dials with anti-kite hands. The scientific community, with experts from around the world, worked together to unravel its mysteries. Eventually, it was determined that the Antikythera mechanism served multiple functions. It functioned as a calendar, an astronomical and meteorological device, and a mapping tool. Remarkably, it stands as the oldest known analog computer, serving as the earliest mechanical representation of the solar system, a planetarium, and an astronomical clock. Using this ancient computer, the Greeks were able to predict the position of the sun, the phases of the moon, solar and lunar eclipses, and the dates of important Greek games and festivals. The existence of the Antikythera mechanism suggests that ancient civilizations, including the Greeks, had a keen interest in space exploration and sought to expand their knowledge beyond the earthly realm. This notion parallels modern jokes about ancient Diet professionals on galleys, implying that the pursuit of technology and innovation transcends time. In addition, ancient Indian texts frequently mention Vamanas, described as aircraft that allowed people to view the earth from above. Despite ongoing debate and puzzlement among scholars, the detailed drawings and descriptions of Vamanas persist in ancient writings. According to one ancient text, Vamanas were constructed of a light yet durable metal. Inside the Vimana, four vessels of mercury were placed under the fire source, which could be controlled by a person aboard the Vimana by heating it. According to ancient texts, the mercury provided the energy needed for takeoff, and the Vimana was said to possess the power of thunder, as described in detail. 
While many consider vimanas to be an invention, there is a possibility that such machines did exist, or that ancient civilizations attempted to construct them, perhaps for purposes such as facilitating trade or warfare. Some accounts describe the use of boiling furnaces with zirconium to create a loud noise that frightened war elephants, but I believe the vimanas were constructed for another purpose, to meet and categorize the gods, separating the fictional from the real in an attempt to reduce their overwhelming number. This endeavor proved unsuccessful, however, as the Hindu pantheon today boasts at least 300 million deities. Many of today's items may one day be seen as mysterious artifacts from the past, due to the rapid pace of technological advancement. For example, members of Generation Z may struggle to understand the meaning of the traditional phone call icon on smartphones because they have never used or seen a wired phone at home. This is a testament to how quickly the world is evolving. Similarly, one can ponder which current scientific advances will baffle future generations.